Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we wrote the C make uh, list text files. They are necessary to wrap uh, the fluid generated files with uh, our uh, implementation files. In this tutorial, let's uh, start writing the implementation files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close uh, X here and close out of here. And this is what I have right now inside the source file. But if you see what I did, I added a few files that were not there before. These were from the last tutorial, the source file, the fluid project files with the fluid generated files and they say you make list.txt file. These are no. This one right here is the implementation file. This one is the header file. And this one is my main uh, file. And I also brought an image so we can show that image. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is uh, show you everything inside. And by the way, I'm going to be putting this on my GitHub page. So follow along. You can go into my GitHub page. Uh, where is it? Just go 345 GitHub. And uh, if you go there, you're going to find in one of the repositories. I haven't made it yet, but I will do it by the end of uh, these tutorials. And you're going to go there and find it. More likely, I will probably will put them here in the FLTK or create another one. This is for my other tutorials. But uh, it will be there. So if you want to just uh, go there and the, the files will be there. But so let's get started. Or you can just follow along with me here and copy and paste and just uh, stop the video. And then you can also copy it from here. So let's clear it. And now let's do the implementation file first. It's called C main window C++. And there it is. Okay. And let's do it again because it got clipped. So there it is. Uh, uh, no, I need to do it again because uh, it got clipped when I click and paste it last time so let's do project one src and then nano c main window c plus plus and there it is and then go copy as you can see you got clip right there it's going to give me an error, so let's just be safe and do it all over again. And there it is. And then you go up. Let me click to get that out of there. And let's explain this implementation file. This, as you can see, it's got the C main window from the C main window class. And uh, it's got a null pointer. This is the function that will show the window. So these are the window callbacks. That's why we call that window win app. And we also call our button, button show JPEG. We had to give it uh, meaningful names. As we're doing the callbacks, we know which button we're talking about, right? So this is the FLTK call back calling the window and also if we close this uh, this is what will happen when it closes so it will be call back window closing so you can see from here you will this is the callback function for it and once it closes it will see out standard see out into the um, terminal X and button click exiting the program and then it will follow and it will keep going. OK, 
okay it will hide the window and then let's show you this callback right here this callback will show you the jpeg and it's this one right here is the callback button show jpeg and what it will do it will open a window and it will show you when it's that uh, when it's click it will show you the window and in that window it will show you the jpeg and this is the one showing you the jpeg it's gonna first of all tell you that a, bu a button was clicked in the terminal it's loading the image from the FLJPEG uh, library and it's going to uh, allow us to resize the image this is the name of the image that it will be opening uh, it's doing some it's taking the image it's taking the original image and it's making a copy and it's taking that copy and putting it into the box image and also I, I mean we can do other stuff with these things this is also deleting it so it's a house cleaning here and here uh, is uh, putting the image here and then redrawing uh, if you this is also can be extended to add things later and we will do that later but I, I don't want to get into that right now but let's just for now just concentrate on the things that I did show you before and that's the implementation file so now we'll save it and now let's open the the header file and the header file very simple very important line here you have to include this this is you're including the c fluid window header file generated by uh by uh the fluid generated files okay and that's in the fluid project file that we created and that's where this stuff is and i also including the share image whenever you're working with images and uh, the JPEG image because we're working with a JPEG. This is the class, uh, the SID fluent window. Uh, like I said, is using this guy, this class based on this class, but in order to do that, you have to bring it in here. Okay, so then this is your public. And your uh, they're all publics. Your segment and window, uh, your show, and your functions that we already explained to you. And these are the callback functions. They have to be static. Uh, just copy and paste just the way I have it. And then the last one is the main file, which is a very simple file. All it's doing is is including the edge. The C main window edge file. I would like to keep them a little bit separate from the system. Include so they're different. As you can see, these are the angle brackets. This ones have the the columns because they're in this directory. In that directory that's gonna go there. And it's looking for the C main window that H file and it's looking for the C main window implementation file. And that's just a regular main. To have the console background uh, using the uh, C out standard C out that I mentioned earlier, and also will do the window. It will show the window, and then it will keep running until we exit out. Very basic. If you've seen some of my other full tech tutorials, nothing new here. So let's save it. And yes. And now what we're going to do is, uh, that's the image. Let's show you the image. And this is the image that I'm be working with. So everything is ready. So what are we going to do now is go into the CDSRC file. And 
Uh, there are two ways to do this. Uh, one way, uh, let me see. Well, uh, let's end this tutorial here, and in the next tutorial, I will will compile it because uh, if we start the compilation process, this this tutorial is going to be too long. So let's end it here. Um, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on GitHub and Twitter, and I will see you next time with another great tutorial. Have a great day and take care.